Hey there, bitches. It's time for another confessions video. Hey, bitch. How you doing, slut? What's up, girlfriend? You see, it's funny that I called you bitches because today we're talking about sexism. Oh, motherfucker, you wrote me into that one. I'm, that one's on you. Fuck. I did there. Hmm. So this video is gonna be a little bit different from my other confessions videos. Uh, is it because your fucking bed's not made? Could have fucking at least made that fucking bed. God damn it. Oh no, sorry. Ooh, did you have your boyfriend make it? Hmm. And he didn't want to fucking do it. Hmm. Because you can't. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. You're a cunt. Purely because in this video, I actually belong to the group that's most affected by this particular ism. Uh, so you're a dude? You're a dude! The short hair. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. You're a dude. Because, you know, I am, in fact... A dude! Female. Ah, oh, bullshit. Prove it. Fucking prove it. Don't prove it. I, I don't want to see your dangling meat hooks. And it's interesting because in the case of LGBTQ people and people of colour, their marginalisation and oppression in the Western world is not real. Is that what you're going to say? Not real? You're going to say not real. It's largely to do with the fact that they are a minority. Oh, right. They're marginalised because they are a minority. That's a really fucking redundant sentence there, cunt. Wouldn't they be marginalised because they are a minority? Which doesn't really serve as a point towards sexism. Which ultimately leads back to the fact that you're a dickhead. But obviously women aren't a minority. No. No, you are not. You are 50% of the population. And in fact, I don't want to break this to you, but sometimes women are minorities as well. Yeah, women can be black. They can be Asian, uh, they can, they can have a dick, apparently. Fuck. So are you going to talk about, are you going to talk about that as well? And I think that's one of the things that makes sexism really messy and complicated and pretty hard to pin down. Right. What I would hope from this video, and I, I haven't watched it yet, I would hope that you would bring up the fact that when a man brings up anything related to men's issues, Around a feminist, they laugh. They fucking laugh. Look at this. I mean, this is a quite an interesting point in regards to the issues and the mental health issues mm. men have to deal with. Is that something created by men? It's not something you could say would be created by women. No, I mean, so, so, in terms so, so, of why they can't no, talk, I, I, why they can't no, talk no. about their emotions, no, express no, themselves. No, again, I, you know, when people talk about male suicides, and it's because they, because they, you know, they can't talk about their emotions. I think that's kicking a dead man, quite frankly. Um, um, some, 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 some months ago, I, I did a piece on homelessness, which is an overwhelming. What the fuck is that cunt laughing at? Seriously, what the fuck is she laughing at? What about this cunt? Oh my god, this pisses me off. She locked me in the flat one day. She locked and, you in the flat. Yeah, she locked me in the flat. Obviously, me being angry, I didn't know the door was locked. I've gone over, I've grabbed the door handle, pulled it, and it's come straight off in my hands. So we're stuck on a three-story bal, a uh, three-story flat, and I've had to jump off a three-story balcony. I ripped all my back, off and all my back. Yeah. Fuck, right? What a dick. It's like as soon as a man says that they're hard done by, holy fuck. This is like exactly what it was like 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, when women had an actual problem with having their word out there. So now the, the actual tables have turned and being a man, we get discriminated against. We, we are affected by fucking sexism all the fucking time. And another thing that makes sexism a little bit different from other isms and phobias is the fact that it can work both ways. There are lots of ways in which men are oppressed. Obviously there is an imbalance and that's very important to acknowledge. But at the end of the day, you know, all oppression is bad. That's good to acknowledge, but... Thanks! Thanks, Eleanor. Shit. Poor. I thought men weren't gonna get... A, a good, a good equal amount of, of air time from you, but, but shit. 
That was too much. Fuck. Cunt. So men can be sexist to women. Women can be sexist to men. End of video. Is it the end of the video? Is that? No. Right, okay. Men can be sexist to men and women can be sexist to women. But the most important thing to remember is that no matter who's being sexist to who, men are always sexist. That's what she's going to say. It always, always stems from the patriarchy. <sighs> Fuck, I hate that word. Really fucking hate that word. And what's the antidote to the patriarchy? Shut it the fuck up! Shut it, shut in the, shut in the fuck up! Shut, is it shutting the fuck up? Feminism! Ah. <sighs> Okay, so that was just a little introduction. Now let's get to the good stuff. I'm gonna take my top off. Confession time. Okay, so there's two that I really wanna start with because I've been feeling really guilty about them for a while and I just wanna get them off my chest. I have no boo-boos. I am the chairperson for the itty bitty ditty committer. I was pretty sexist to this guy at uni on two separate occasions. The first time was in second year and we were doing a play and all the boys had to do this scene in their speedos. And there's this one guy, we're gonna call him Lionel cause that's a fun name. Lionel has a very nice bottom. And during the rehearsal, I was pretty obviously checking him out and I turned to my friend next to me and I was like, oh my God, look at his bum. And he heard and he looked pretty embarrassed. And the reason that is sexist is because if it had been the other way round, if it had been girls in their bikinis and one of the boys had been really obviously ogling them and had made comments, I would have probably given quite a big speech about how you shouldn't sexualize women in the workplace. You are a cunt. You are a motherfucking cunt. A, if he's got a nice butt, he's got a nice butt. B, if she's got a nice butt, she's got a nice butt. The problem with what you just said was that we should all be ashamed of ourselves when our natural urges kick in and we're attracted to somebody. Fuck, you are taking back human existence. 100, probably 250,000 years right now. Seriously, you are what is wrong with not just women, people. Why the fuck are you making a YouTube video on this? It's fucking ridiculous. Who the fuck cares? Uh, I don't give a fuck if you feel guilty because you said that some guy had a nice butt. What be fucking do? You're really proud of yourself because you're fucking confessing this stupid, dumb fucking thing on the internet. Oh wow, you've, you've got to feel good for yourself now. My fucking God. Are you fucking kidding me? Shut the fuck up. You dumb. No. Wait. I. Hang on. If I call her a dumb cunt. Are you a dumb cunt? Yeah, YouTube. Try to use that against me. <laughs> yeah, dumb cunts. Oh, shit. And how you should create a safe space for them by being respectful. Fucking safe space. Oh, my fucking God. Fuck. Are you kidding me? A safe space. Because everyone's as fucking fragile as you. You must be really fucking popular. Just everyone, before we eat our lunch today, we just got to make sure everyone's okay. Are we all okay with me eating eggs? Are we okay? Mmm. I'm going to be eating into an egg now. Is everyone okay with that? Shut the fuck up. Just fucking eat your dumb eggs, you cunt. Then, in third year, Lionel and I actually had a sex scene together in a play. We had to get down to our underwear, we didn't actually have to get naked. And for the rehearsal for that scene, I got down to my underwear and Lionel got down to his boxers and t-shirt. And I was just sort of like, what are you doing? And he said, oh well, I'm a bit shy. And I said, oh don't be silly, just take your t-shirt off. And again, if it had been the other way round, I would not have stood for that shit. Um, are you kidding me? Why the fuck would it be the other way around? Nobody wants to see your fucking tiny tits. Shit. I would have been like, look, this is my body. I choose when I get to take my clothes off. I will show you my body in my own good time. I'm in my space right now. 
My my clothes and my safe space. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm in my safe space. I think it highlighted for me how often I forget that boys can be insecure about their bodies too. Oh, because other people are people too. Look at that lesson she learned. Oh, other people are people. Fuck. And the respect for that, it really has to go both ways. What makes you think it doesn't? And why do you have to tell us? Pat yourself on the back, bitch. Pat yourself on the motherfucking back. I think in general I am meaner to boys. And it's because I think that they're not going to care so much. And I'm a lesbian. And I just, you know, I really need to remember that, you know, boys are sensitive too. You know, you've got to be just as nice to boys as you are to girls. Mm, I don't know. I've seen some girls be really fucking catty towards each other. I wouldn't want that. Some girls are pretty fucking hard done, you know, they are fucking... They can take, they can take a verbal beating. Moving on, here are a few sexist phrases that have crossed my lips a few times over the years. Man up, grow some balls, calm down princess, don't be such a girl. And of course there is the word bitch. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Who fucking cares? Words are words. Who the fuck cares? Bitch is very much still in my vocabulary. I use it all the time. Because you're a bitch. Bitches are bitches. And you a bitch. The thing is, it's a very gender specific insult. Mm, I don't know. See, I can call you a bitch. And I can call your boyfriend a bitch for different reasons. Most other insults are pretty much gender neutral, but bitch is really female. With the word bitch, there's something about it which suggests that it's the very female nature of the person that you're insulting. What? No. This is really saying more about you than anything else. You're a really mean person. Like really, really sour, black, dark-souled person. I would hate to know you. And if I saw this video and I did know you, fuck. I would, I would, I would hate myself for knowing you. Confessions aside, you're a cunt. You're a straight up cunt. That's part of the reason why you're insulting them. And you'd very rarely use the word bitch on a man. You would only use it on a man if you were trying to emasculate him. What up bitches? Could be a term of endearment. Have you not seen Breaking Bad? Bitch, bitch, little bitch. I made you my bitch. Jesse. Bitch, bitch. Yeah, bitch! Jesse! Do you not know who fucking Jesse Pinkman is? Bitch trying to degrade him by comparing him to a woman, which really says a lot about how society sees women, doesn't it? No, it does not. Except for you. If somebody who called me a bitch and really specifically meant you, then I would be hurt. I would be offended. Although that would call me an Eleanor instead of a bitch, to be more specific. I'd be pretty insulted. There are other insults which also are potentially problematic insults that are kind of referring to anatomy and things. To be honest, I'm not fully sure how I feel about all of those words, so I'm not going to delve into it right now. She's talking about cunt. There's nothing wrong with the word cunt. Cunt's a nice word. In Australia, we use that for fucking everything. Shut up, cunt. Oh, that's a good cunt. Oh, you're a sick cunt. Fuck up, cunt. Oh, cunt. shibidi doo but cunt. Obviously the best thing is just not to insult people, but people can make me pretty angry sometimes. And you a bitch. You are a straight up bitch. Fuck. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm dying. There's a little piece of me dying inside by watching this. <sighs> I don't want to look at her stupid room anymore. I don't want to look, look at her stupid head anymore. Thank you all for watching. Okay. What's your favorite swear word? Let me know down below and I will see you later. Peace.